today I want to show you a way to store your seed phrase that looks like nothing. Just a bunch of numbers in a sheet of paper. This is a follow-up video from the previous one about traveling with your Bitcoin. This method is called the book cipher. The standard format for a book cipher is as follows. The book cipher consists of three components, the page number, the line number, and the word position in that line. In this representation of the book, when you look at it, you look at the page number, you identify the line number, and then you identify the position of that word in that line. One example, when you look at this code, you know it's at this page, at this line, at this word position in that line. In the context of travel, if anybody sees this list, it will look meaningless to them. But if you know the book and you know how to decode it, you can get the full seed phrase. This is an example of how I would do this book cipher. Suppose I have this set of 12 word seed phrase. This is a dummy seed phrase, so it won't link to any wallet. But what I would do is I would list it out first. This is the prep work that I would do. I would list out all of the 12 word seed phrase in this order. Once I have listed out, I also have my book handy. And then my next step is to randomly flip. Once I reach a random page, I look up my seed phrase word in those pages. For example, the first word is found. And I'm in random page of 254. In 254, I scan for the word found. I found it. I found the word found in line one word one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I found the word found in word position seven. So I would write down page 254, line one, word position seven. I then continue this whole process until I have coded all 12 seed phrase words. Once I am done with coding all of my seed phrase word, I flip to a blank page and then using the code, I try to decode my seed phrase just to make sure that I am on the right path and I recorded the codes correctly. Once I'm done with that, and I found my codes are correct, I will keep the codes and destroy the original version and then I am done.
This is not a replacement for cold storage. Like I said previously, this just adds a layer of security, especially if you're going to travel with your Bitcoin. But if you're not traveling with your Bitcoin, you can use this method for long-term security and privacy. And the best of all, it is all offline and you do not need to subscribe to any apps to do this. So try it out with a dummy seed phrase. See how you like it. Once you're comfortable with making the codes and decoding it, you can move forward to with your original seed phrase. If you found this video helpful, subscribe and I will see you soon.